Hey everyone, welcome back to Shop Life. This DIY, I'm going to show you how to install and retrofit projectors with the Xenon setup on this E46. So this is going to be more of a budget build. I do have OEM Xenon lights for this car, but I wanted to see and I've had a few requests on what's the best cheapest way to have a proper lighting setup on the E46 that came with halogens. So what I'm going to be using is I'm going to be using parts that I found. Uh, they're online and I found them locally. They do have their online websites. Uh, I went to IJDM Toy to get their 3 inch projectors. Uh, they have an actual retrofit kit for uh, any car but does not include any shrouds and like I said this is a budget uh, budget build so I'm just going to be using just the 3 inch projectors without any shrouds just to see how they work. They are H1 so I went, and got, went ahead and got a H1 HID kit from Autolizer which is also a local company here but they do sell online. $35 with the whole H1 bulb and everything. So I went ahead and picked that up as well and while I was at IJDM Toy uh, I also went ahead and got their Angel Eyes with their Relay kit which is 50 bucks, which you can find on Amazon as well. So I'll try to link all those all the things that I bought down below in the description where you can go ahead and get everything for yourself. The projector for forty dollars, the HID kit was thirty-five, so we're in it about seventy-five dollars so far. And the Angel Eyes, which is very is optional, those were fifty bucks. You can get a lot better kit from the RetrofitSource.com using the FXR projectors and all that. Just go on their website, put in the information for your car, and you'll see the kits they have available. So let's go and get started. We're going to start out by removing these headlights. So as you can see, these headlights are also very foggy. So first, what you want to do is you want to remove this corner light, remove this trim. Go ahead and undo all the bolts and slide this out. To remove the corner light, just get a long flat head. There's a hole right here. Stick it in there, push that tab down, and it will just pop right out. Once it pops out, undo the connector for the bulb. So what you're pressing down is this section right here. Once you push that down, it will just slide out. And here's the connector for the bulb. Just push the clip and pull off the connector. Now we can go ahead and remove this trim piece. The way this trim piece works, you have a little tab right here on the corner. This is on the inside of the headlight. Push that tab in, pull it out. These will just keep snapping out. And then the last one you have is this tab right here. From the inside, you could pry this section up just very slightly with a flathead and just go ahead and pull it off the fender. I do have a more detailed video on this uh, on one of my older videos for the front end removal. I show how to do this in much more detail. Next, you're going to need an 8 millimeter socket, preferably with the long extension. Take off the two 8 millimeter bolts on the top. Now you have another 8 millimeter bolt inside of this. You have another 8 millimeter bolt inside there in this gap. And you have one more 8 millimeter bolt right here this one is missing so go ahead and pull off both of those these bolts are a little bit different you can see they have a little torx set up inside the hex once you have those two bolts removed from the back and the two on the top you can go ahead and slide this out slowly once you slide it out go ahead and disconnect the connectors for the high beam and the low beam Two connectors. This is a three inch projector retrofit kit. No shroud. I don't even think they make a shroud that will cover the three inch. They do have two and a half inch available that comes with a shroud. It's a little bit more expensive. So if you want the shroud, make sure you do that one. So between a 2.5 and a 3.0, the 2.5 is gonna be an overall smaller projector. It's gonna have, on paper, it will have less light output as well. So this one, since it's a three inch, should have better light output, better cutoffs and it should be even a little bit wider. And even if you get the two and a half inch kit, the process will be very similar in order to put it into your headlights. Now here we have the actual HID kit. This is from Autolizer. I read the reviews, they seem pretty good, and it's still one of the cheaper kits, so I went in and picked that up. Uh, they were also local to me, which helps. And it comes with the bulbs, and it comes with the ballast. So these are the 5K. You can get the 6K, which is a little bit br uh, bluer, but the 5K is supposed to be the closest to the OEM, which is 4300. Now here is the headlight itself that we just removed. So as you can see, the whole lens itself is very hazy. Just refinishing the lens or replacing it with the, another one, they do make new ones for like $70 for the pair. So if you just get new ones, just by doing that, your light output will increase because it won't be hazy. Uh, it won't have to go through this whole thick layer of haze pretty much. 
But we are going to be refinishing these lenses. All right, so now we're going to first start off by taking off this little trim right here. Next, we're going to take off the actual lens. Now we'll take off this shroud right here. Just pulls right off. These little tabs hold it in place. So just pull it straight off. Now you want to go ahead and clean all this up. Go ahead and pull out the low beam headlight. We're going to go ahead and pull off this section right here that comes on the projector. These are three Phillips screws. Make sure you don't lose the screws because you are going to need them. Go ahead and unscrew this. All right, so you can see it doesn't fit through this little clip right here. This clip is in there for the stock bulb. So we're gonna pull this metal clip off. What you want is you want a small flat head that can pry these metal tabs, all four of them, up and off of the actual plastic surround so you can pull it off completely. Here's the installation kit that they give us. This is the closest to the one that was in there mm -hmm. before. All right, so silicone ring that they provide, you are gonna have to trim it in order for it to fit the E46. So we're just gonna take off this outer section. To get the silicone ring to fit perfect, you wanna go ahead and cut that tab out as well. All right, now you want to get your projector, see which side says top. Once you find that, this one says top right here. So if you want to use the bi-xenon function that these projectors are capable of, you have the, this wire right here, this connector. I went in to pull the little pins out of the connector. Uh, there's, you just have to press in this little tab with the flathead and pull it out of the connector. So the main reason I did that is so I could drill just a very small hole to pass these through. And what I'm gonna do is I just lift it off this boot and on the back of this actual bowl, I'm just gonna drill a hole, pass these wires through, that way the projector can still sit properly. What many people do is they'll just put it, slide it in through here where the opening for that projector is anyways and just have it come out. But only thing what that does, it doesn't let the projector sit perfectly flush in this hole and that just makes it a little bit off. So we're just gonna drill this hole right here and pass these wires through there. And the main reason I'm doing it at the bottom of the bowl is because the wire is coming out at the bottom. So there's a hole that I created. And when we feed the projector through here, we're going to feed those wires through this section right here. Now you want to put the silicone ring first. Next, the washer. Make sure you use the washer that fits. And then finally, the nut. You want to make sure the, uh, the actual projector itself is parallel to the top of this sh uh, shroud right here. So if you need to turn it a little bit, go ahead and turn it. Make sure it's parallel. And what that does, that just makes that cutoff line perfectly straight. Because if it's twisted or turned one way or another, your cutoff line will not be straight. Now that we have the nut tightened all the way, 
You're gonna wanna put this back on. After you've tightened the three Phillips screws, we can go ahead and put the bulb in and secure it with the metal retaining clip that they gave us. Once the bulb is in, you want to get the metal clip on, start from the bottom, get it through the two holes on the top. So you have to slide the two ends through these holes on the top, and then just push the metal clip on the bottom through the holder from right there. It'll just snap right in place. Now with the solenoid, if you do want to use this feature, they do make a separate harness for this, or you can just tap this into your high beam function. So whenever you actually push your high beams, the solenoid will activate and it will remove that cutoff. Then you have the full bi xenon effect. The projector's in is nice and tight. Once again, the line on the top of the projector, like the bracket on the back of the projector, make sure that's parallel with the line for the actual headlight housing. So as long as that is parallel, you're good to go. The cutoff should be right. And ideally, if you got the two and a half inch kit, or even if you look at OEM uh, Xenon headlights, they'll have a shroud that covers this section. So you don't see that bracket or any of that. And you can probably get one of the two and a half inch ones and modify it to make it work with this. Or if you bought the two and a half inch projector, it'll come with it uh, and you could just fit that on there. So with that being said, all that stuff is hooked up. Now we're gonna go ahead and reassemble the rest of the headlight. This goes to the ballast and this goes to the OEM plug for your low beam. So it would go just like this. And you plug this into your factory low beam. Okay, right, so now we're gonna hook the light back up. Make sure all your wires, you feed them through first. And then you wanna make sure you slide it in properly so the headlight bracket goes right where it belongs. I'm also gonna go ahead and reinstall the old one back. That way you guys can see the light output difference. All right, so the red goes to the yellow and green wire because that's the positive. The brown is the ground. And that goes to the black. So naturally it doesn't fit. So since this terminal does not fit in the factory pigtail, what you can do is you can splice it in. So just use like a splicer and splice that in. Or you can remove the pigtail, wire it directly in, solder it. Or you could do what I'm about to do, which I'm just doing it temporarily so we can see the light. I'm gonna cut this terminal a little bit so that it slides in there. And then we'll go from there. So this is just temporary, that way I can show you guys how it looks. What I would do is just splice it in, that way it's still not permanent if you wanna go back to stock and put the stock headlight bulb holder. So get a splice kit and just splice it in right here. So the red, which is the positive, goes to the yellow green. And the black goes on the other side. There we have it. And you want to mount this ballast so that way there's no shock to it or anything like that. So you want to put it somewhere and secure it. You can use that using zip ties, bolts, however you want to do it. Now I'm going to put the stock headlight in on the other side so you guys can tell the difference. On the left side of your screen, see how the light is so uneven when it's dispersed? And then with the projector, you can see how even it is. It's only on one spot. And that's the whole po that's the whole point of the projector. And also the intensity of the light is a lot different. So we're gonna turn around so you can see the cutoff. So this is on a hill and they're not pointed 100% yet, but you can see the cutoff right there. And this is only on one side. And if you look on the other side, you see the halogen. So just with that, even one projector, you can already tell how much of a difference it is. Obviously they're not pointed where they need to be yet, let me go ahead and put the projector on the passenger side, and then once I have that done, I'll turn the car around and show you guys how to point them. All right, so now I'm gonna show you how to point the actual lights 
Once you do the projector, you are going to have to re readjust the headlights, how high they're pointing, how low they're pointing. And what you want to do is you want to do this at night, ideally in front of your garage. What you want to do is you want to park 25 feet away from a wall and you want to make sure you are perfectly level with the wall or as close as you can be. And then in order to adjust the headlights, you're going to be using this adjustment screw. This one does the up and down motion, so vertical. It'll allow you to adjust the headlights to point them further down or point them further up. And it's the same, same one on both sides. So what you want to do is you want to be 25 feet, like I said. Then you want to measure from the ground to the center of your projector. So ground to the center of the projector, about 25 and a half inches. So now what you want to do is you want to go to the wall. That right there is six inches and that was 25 and a half. You want to mark a line two to three inches lower than what your height to the center of the projector was. So mine was 25 and a half. I want to mark a line around 22 and a half. So I've got six inches there, 16 and a half. So I'm going to get it to be about right here, 16 and a half. So I'm going to say about half an inch higher than the second brick. So a line on the driver's side is right here. So we want the center of that cutoff right here to be around around here. So as you can see, second brick, pretty much about where I wanted it to be. The projector, as you can see, it seems like it's a little bit crooked. And remember when I said when we were installing it to make sure that that little top section of the projector is parallel to the headlight. So mine was parallel, I'm guessing when I was tightening it down, I moved it just a little bit. So even a little, a little bit of a movement can cause it to be this diagonal. So in order to fix that, all you have to do is just pull off the headlight lens. You do not have to pull the whole headlight off for this. Pull the headlight lens off, just turn that projector just a little bit to make it perfectly even. So now let's go and adjust the other side. So now both these are adjusted to exactly where you want them to be. I just had to strain that other projector and we're good to go. So that's it for this video. If you guys have any questions, any comments, feel free to leave a comment down below or message me on Instagram at shoplifetv. I respond a lot quicker if you message me on Instagram and thanks for watching.